are all together as we sing a song joyfully yo we are joined together as we pray we will always be let us make the world and hallelujah let us make the world a better place keep a smile handy lend a helping hand We'll all join in and sing Yo, we are All together as we sing a song Joyfully Yo, we are Join together as we pray We will always be My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you For this holy Eucharist of Love We thank you my dear friends for participating in this holy eucharist. We ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notifications of all the spiritual services. Today we are going to pray for all the children who are going to school who need the Lord's assistance. Especially praying for those children who are not able to study who feel that they need lot of time to memorize we ask our dear lord to shower his blessings upon them especially as we partake in this holy eucharist in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit let us call to mind all our sins and our failures let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed with a contrite heart let us confess together i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers my sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what have i done what i failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault and therefore i ask bless mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers my sisters to pray for me to lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy My dear friends, today is the memorial of Saint Ignatius of Antioch, bishop and martyr. He is the second pope after Peter. We pray through his intercession that we all may be blessed. Almighty ever-loving God, who adorn the sacred body of your church with the confessions of holy martyrs grant we pray that just as the glorious passion of saint ignatius of antioch which we celebrate today brought him eternal splendor so it may be for us unending protection through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the letter of saint paul to the ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 to 10 you were dead through the crimes crimes and the sins in which you used to live when you were following the way of this world obeying the ruler who governs the air the spirit who is at work in the rebellious be all were among them too in the past living sensual lives 
rule entirely by our own physical desires and our own ideas so that by nature we were as much under God's anger as the rest of the world. But God loved us with so much love that he, he was generous with his mercy. When we were dead through our sins, he brought us to life with Christ. It is through grace that you have been saved and raised us up with him and gave us a place with him in heaven, in Christ Jesus. This was to show for all ages to come through his goodness towards us in Christ Jesus, how infinitely rich he is in grace, because it is by grace that you have been saved through faith not by anything of your own, but by a gift from God, not by anything that you have done, so that nobody can claim the credit. We are God's work of art, created in Christ Jesus to live the good life, as from the beginning he had meant us to live it. The Word of the Lord. He made us, we belong to him. Responsorial Psalm, your response. He made us, we belong to Him. He made us, we belong to Him. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Your response. He made us, we belong to Him. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Your response. He made us, we belong to him. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Your response. He made us, we belong to him. How good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Your response. He made us, we belong to him. Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia. Teach me your parts, my God. Make me walk in your truth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to give me a share of our inheritance. My friend, he replied, Who appointed me your judge or the arbitrator of your claims? Then he said to them, Watch and be on your guard against avarice of any kind. For a man's life is not made secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Then he told them a parable. There was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, What am I to do? I have not enough rooms to store my crops. Then he said, This is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones and store all my grain and my goods in them. And I will say to my soul, My soul, you have plenty of good things laid by for many years to come. Take things easy. Eat, drink, have a good time. But God said to him, Fool, this very night the demand will be made for your soul. And this hoard of yours, whose will it be then? So it is when a man stones, stores up treasure for himself, in place of making himself rich in the sight of God. The 
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, all of us want to become rich. We want to have everything that is available for our comforts. We get attracted to things in the market and we want to buy, buy and buy. But we will buy these things according to what we have. If we have more, we buy more things. If we have less, we choose what we need. But when we have in plenty, we don't have to choose. We can just pick up whatever we feel we need or we want. My dear brothers and sisters, these days, it is, it is the time of consumerism. You go to the malls, especially here in India, we have Dmart, Reliance malls, and various other type of malls. You know, you go to the mall, you don't have to make your list of things you need. Just go and the mall will tell you what you want and what you need. You begin to pick up what you want, what you need, what attracts you. Actually, you have just come, not for marketing, you may have gone just for window shopping. And you begin to pick up things and you take the cart for billing and you have made a very big bill. You may feel guilty after you have paid and gone out to your vehicle to put all things in the vehicle. Do I really need these things? You go home, keep all these things in different, different places and you feel, oh yes, I need it. And then you realize for months and for years you have dumped those things in the same place. We have reach, reached this stage of life. Here the scriptures are reminding us the reading from Luke chapter 12 verses 13 to 21. You fool if you feel that you are secured in this world with all the material things that you have, you are mistaken. When Jesus tells about a rich man who had such a lot of crops growing and the ban was not enough to store things, so he wants to break down and bigger, build bigger ones. To this person, there is a reminder from God. Fool, this very night, your soul may be required. You may not be there on this earth this very night. What will you do with this? Always we feel that we have everything and we must accumulate a lot, not just for this life, but many more lives to come. But we are not worried whether it is possible to live long just like that. We may be called tonight itself. Come, your soul is required. Then what about the material good that we all are gathering up day after day? 
we need to reflect on this particular topic very much because all of us want to accumulate things and in the bargain we lose our contact with god the spiritual contact which is more important than these material things in the world you see jesus by his blood has saved us we have to die in crimes and sin but we do not remain there by believing in jesus we are raised to new life by jesus and his blood we need to be very grateful christians that we have received this opportunity on this earth to live for the welfare of others to do good towards others to be charitable not gathering up treasures as much as possible it is enough with what i need but not to just waste on buying things wasting money on unnecessary things and after you have bought you feel this is not needed for me and it is all lying in the corner so my dear friends the readings of today invite us to reflect on our life how we can better our life being christians and how we can be closer to god let us seek for god's intervention in our lives so that we may live true and worthy life in his eyes amen <laughs> We offer you, O Lord divine, our humble gifts of bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. O oh, take our hearts, take our minds, take all we have, make them thine, O Lord. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world, 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, thanking our dear mother for being with us, for helping us in our life's journey. We ask you, dear mother, at this time to bless all those who are sick with healing, bless all those who are caught up in war, those who are struggling due to financial crisis, due to food crisis, and political crisis. Lord, we ask you to bless all our families with peace, joy, and serenity. Dear Mother, at this time we pray for our children who are preparing for the exams. We pray for the youth that they may have right knowledge and the path in life. We pray for those who are earning bread for us in our families. Bless them with good health. Bless all those who are elderly, seniors, and sick in our homes. Bless all those couples who are waiting for the gift of child. Bless them by your graciousness. Bless all of us, dear Mother, at this time, who have participated in the Holy Eucharist. Fulfill our prayers and intentions, we pray. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you freed us, with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very joyful day with your family and friends. Observe the